Hi there. Internet security is quite a big concern these days. With the level of adult content now on the internet, trying to keep your family and your kids safe is getting more and more challenging. I've come across this product, it's called Safe Surfer Lifeguard, and it's an internet access point. Now the beauty with this product is it's very easy to install, it's nice and compact, but it's also very effective in filtering out harmful content. And automatically, out of the box, it filters out all adult content. And you can also select um, different options, and I'll go through that as well, of what you want to filter out to protect your children or you protect your family. And the other advantage is, it's not just installed on one device. Because you're installing it on your home uh, Wi-Fi router, it applies to every device that's connected to it. Now, out of the box, it comes with this internet access point. It comes with an Ethernet cable and also USB power. It comes with a brochure, some basic instructions, four steps, which I'll go through, and also a booklet that you can go through with your kids on keeping safe on the web. Now, to install the device, you just have to locate your home router, and this is the lifeguard access point device. So from the home router, you plug in one side of the Ethernet cable into a LAN port, and then the other side into the WAN point. So we have the WAN point of the internet lifeguard. So it'll just plug into there. So we've located our home router. So now we connect the ethernet cable into one of the spare LAN ports of this modem. The next step is to get the USB power and connect that to our lifeguard unit. You'll see that one of the lights has already come on. And after a few minutes, all three lights should light up. So the next step is to see if the Safe Surfer uh, Wi-Fi has appeared on your network. So you'll notice now under the Wi-Fi, we've got our Blue Sky, which is just my home router. And we've also got the Safe Surfer that's appeared. So if we click into that, we can enter in our password, which is Good Life. Join. So now that we're connected to the Safe Surfer internet, I'm just going to give it a quick test before we go to our next step. So I'll just go to Google and I'm going to type in some words which I will um, hide, so just in case there are children watching, and we'll just see what happens. So let's give it a shot and just see what happens. So that's come up that it did not match any documents, so that's fantastic. So whatever I search for has come up all clear. And just here on our right, we've got safe search on, and you'll notice that I can't even turn it off. So the next step is to go to the Safe Surfer website and to register our device. And this should be done from the administrator, preferably a parent, and this will give us greater control of what we can or we don't want filtered out. So now that we've registered our device, we can see the device summary. So every uh, device connected to the lifeguard unit you'll be able to see on this screen. And you can see how much usage in megabytes, um, you can see what's allowed, um, latest domains, and any block uh, categories. So if we select a device, so any device again that's connected, so say we select uh, this laptop, so we got Monday, Tuesday, all the way through to Sunday, and you can, the red are the block times, and the green are the allowed times. So if you want, you can block um, your children's devices, say from midnight to 6 or 7 a.m. Block sites. Now this is where we can change the global settings. So whatever we do here will be passed on to the module as well that we just installed. So you can see there's a number of different categories um, that you can select from. Um, you can even disable some of the social media um, if you wish. Um, so under the global settings is also a YouTube restricted mode. So we can either set it to a moderate or a strict restrictions. So we'll just leave it at strict for now. Social media, Facebook for example, but you don't want your kids to, you can change that under per device settings. If we go under Wi-Fi setup, we can actually change the name of our router, our lifeguard unit, and also the passwords. So say for example, we call this 
test unit like that and we go update wireless configuration it will restart the Wi-Fi and you'll see now that the internet is searching click on safe surfer it'll ask the password again which is just good life and I'll change that after of course but for the purposes of this video I will just leave it as the factory default so that's connected now to our renamed unit which we just call test unit so what I'll do from now is I'm obviously going to change our original blue sky router um, settings so it'll have a different name and that way uh, and a different password and that way whatever device is connected will um, have to reconnect and we'll set the safe surfer unit we'll call it something different and that'll be the new standard in our home so I highly recommend this Safe Surfer Lifeguard Wireless Access Point product. Uh, it was fairly inexpensive. It's $85 Australian. That's shipped from New Zealand as well. And that's just a one-off cost. There's also other payment options. Um, but that's it. That's set now for however long I wish to use it. Um, there's no ongoing fees as well. And I think it's a very good means to keep your family safe. It obviously filters out a lot of adult content and other content you may not want um, yourself or kids to have access to. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it informative. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Thanks for watching.